Charlie and I are a little perplexed. Why do people hate the HD 700? Well, not everybody hates the HD 700, but there are a lot of people online who have commented how harsh and terrible and unsennheiser like these headphones are. Well, mm, I kind of like them. The HD 700 is the younger sibling of the HD 800. This thing is packaged very similarly to the HD 800, so let's get to the unboxing. The 700, as I said, is the younger brother of the HD 800. The 800 had some serious flaws with the driver, the tuning. It became incredibly harsh in the treble region, and people who are treble sensitive complained. Hey, look. I can sympathize. The 800 was so sibilant that people went out and made modifications themselves and then sold those modifications to each other. Sennheiser apparently was rather concerned about this and addressed the problem. Hence, they released the HD 800S S for sibilance, but I guess. The 700 also fares a little bit from that sibilance issue. Unfortunately, Sennheiser has not released the HD 700S. Apparently they don't care about this. The 700, although it does have a bit of a peakiness issue, just like the 800, eh, in my opinion, not so much. The box, by the way. Oh, let's talk about that box. Look at this thing. It's plush. It, it's like a mattress in there. I wish my mattress was this foamy. Now on to the headphones. I know Charlie wants to talk about it. The headphones... They may look heavy when you see them in the box, but when you pull them out, boy, they weigh about as much as air. These headphones are light. They are so super light. They're, well, what can I say? I don't know what they're made of. I think it's magnesium, or it could be plastic, or it could be some other high-end material. It doesn't matter. It's sturdy enough. The ear cups don't really swivel a whole that much. In fact, there's not much swiveling, and some people may not be able to fit these headphones on their head the way that they like because of the lack of swivelage. The ear pads themselves are plush enough, the typical Sennheiser ear pads. They're open enough for you to put them around your ears, so eh, they won't sit on top unless you have really abnormally large ears. The headband, at least the top of it, is rubberized and has Sennheiser written on it. The underside is the typical Sennheiser headband padding, no different from the rest. The headphones have a open driver, so obviously you can see the driver. Try not to touch it. The cord ends in a quarter inch, and boy, it is made of metal. Look at that thing, it's sturdy as can be. The cord itself is about 10 feet long. The Y splitter is made of metal. Hmm, well done. The HD 700 is interesting. Does it have a different sound signature from the 600 series and the 500 series? Yeah, it does. But that's where my confusion comes in because there are people online who say that this headphone doesn't sound like the 600. But was it really supposed to sound like the 600? And others say, this doesn't sound like the true Sennheiser sound. Well, don't they get to decide what is their sound signature? Regardless, I think that these headphones sound really good. Crystal clear, undistorted, and frankly, that mid-range is fabulous. Now, about the treble region. It is a little bit peaky, especially at higher volumes, and depending on the type of music you're listening to, this can become rather harsh. Heavy metal, for example, which you should know by now I don't listen to, can become peaky very, very fast. Piano-centric songs might become pretty peaky as well if you listen to it at an incredibly high volume. But other than that, I have to say that these headphones are airy, and relatively smooth, and quite frankly, I love that mid-range. The vocals stand out with these headphones. It's almost as if you're sitting in the recording booth, you have headphones on, and all you're listening to is the vocalist. It's crystal clean and crisp. If you've ever wanted to listen to vocal-centric songs and not really pay all that much attention to the mix, these headphones are pretty good for getting out the vocals, the tenor, the emphasis, the sweetness, and even the harshness in vocalists will stand out with these headphones. 
boy, they are something unique. The 700 is a 150 ohm headphone, which means that it's not the easiest to drive, but it's also not the worst to drive. These have been applied to not just critical listening, but also enjoyment, and a lot of people use it for gaming. I really do like these headphones, and I'm looking forward to doing the full review. Like a bird on a tree